Hello friend, how are you? Welcome to Tripan Study Center. We are going to do, today is doing is very important topic here, MCQ. MCQ question for the class 8, science, chapter here, force and pressure for a CVSC NCRT text basis here. That's the most important MCQ which we will be a very important for the exam point of view and it will be important for the there's a competitive exam also. Let's see what is our topic today. Today we discuss the most important chapter here, Force and Pressure, Class 8, CVSC and CRT, Science here. You know that this is the most important chapter, Force and Pressure, MCQ. This is MCQ is the most important. The first question arrive here. A two objects ripple to each other. Two objects ripple to each other. This repulsion could be a due to. This repulsion due to. First, fictionally force only. B, electrostatic force only. C, magnetic force only. D, either a magnetic or on electrostatic force. You know that is the most important question. But, first of all, you choose the a right answer for the four options here. You know that you choose the answer. I write the, your notebook. Let's see what is the answer for this question. Question is clear here. Two objects ripple to each other. Two objects ripple to each other. This repulsion could be a due to. There is a fiction force only. There is a nothing is a Fictional force only. Fiction is the most important, but the nothing is a ripple to the each other. Electrostatic force. There is a electrostatic force. This right, but magnet magnetic force only. There's a, also is important. You know that electrostatic force is apply here and magnetic force apply here. It means to the D option is correct here. D option is correct. D is the either are magnetic or on electrostatic force. It means to D option for this question answer is correct here. Option D is correct here. Let's see next question. The next question on your screen. The question here. A push or pull on object is called. A push or pull on object is called. A pressure. B push pull. C force. D all of above. That's important here. You know that. First of all, you give an answer for this question. Four options is the most important. And write the correct answer of your notebook. Okay? And let's see what is the answer for this question. You know that a question is a push or pull on object is called. Pressure, there is nothing is a pressure here. Push pull, that is nothing is a push pull. There is only here apply a force. It means to the C option is correct here. A push or pull on the object is called force. It's called force. C option is correct for this question here. Let's see next question. Next question on your screen. Question here. If two force act in the opposite direction on and the object the net force adding on it is the. You know that is the question is clear. If the two force act in the opposite direction on an object, the net force acting on it is the A. Sum of the two force B. Difference between the two force C. Multiplication of the two force D. Division of the two force Question is very interesting, but you choose the answer for the correct for the four options and write your notebook firstly. You know that you write down your answer for your notebook. Let's see what is the answer for this question here. Question, understand? Question is clear if the two force act in the opposite direction. On an object, there are net force. Act on it is the... There is the answer is clear. Answer is clear. The difference between the two force. Difference between the two force. Option B is correct here. Option B is correct. Difference between the two force. That is a right answer here. Let's see next question here. 
Next question on your screen. Question is here. A leaves fall down on the ground due to. A leaves fall down on the ground due to. A. Electrostatic force. B. Magnetic force. C. Gravitational force. D. Muscular force. You know that. First of all, choose your answer for the four options and write out in your notebook. You have a not the correct answer notebook. Let's see what is the answer for this question here. Questions is clear. Leaves fall down on the ground due to. There is a due to. You know that electrostatic force there is nothing apply here. It is not a leaf fall the electrostatic force. It means to A option is wrong. B has the magnetic force. Magnetic force, there is nothing here. It means to B options also is here wrong. C. Gravitational force. That's right, gravitational force. Gravitational force is the most important here. A leaves fall down on the ground due to the gravitational force. It means to the option C is correct here. Option C. Gravitational force. That's the correct answer of uh, gravitational force here. Let's see next question here. The next question on your screen, question here, a state of motion is described by, a state of motion is described by, A, position of rest, B, position of motion, C, both by the state of the rest or motion, D, none of these. That's an important question here, but first of all you give the answer for this question here. That's important and write your notebook also. You have a write the notebooks? Okay, let's see what is the answer for this question. Question is clear here. A state of motion is a dis described by the position of rest. That's a right. Position of the rest is correct. Position of the motion is also correct. It means two options is correct here. But you now have to the both option it means to the option C option C is correct both by the state of rest or motion there is option C is correct here both by the state of rest or motion there is a C option is correct here next question on your screen question here when the hammer strike there is a going of a electrical bell which of the flowing force is responsible for the moment of hammer? Know that you see the electrical bell. The question is relative there. When the hammer strikes the gong on the electrical bell, which of the flowing force is responsible for the moment of hammer? Responsible the force, the moment of hammer. Hammers mean the ringing here. A. Gravitational force alone, B. Magnetic force alone, C. Electrostatic force alone, D. Friction force alone. That's an important question here, but first of all, you give the answer for this question. That's important. You know that you write down the, your notebook, your right answer. Let's see what is the answer for this question. Question is clear here. When the hammer strike, there is a gong of the electrical bell. Which of the flowing force is responsible for the moment of hammer? There is a force responsible for the moment of hammer. A. Gravitational, gravitational force along. A. Gravitational force along. There is nothing here. Magnetic force along. No. There is a wrong option. Is the magnetic force along. There is nothing is right. C. Electrostatic force along. That is right here. Because there is electric... Electrostatic force here apply for the ring of the electrical bell and their force responsible for their hammer or moment of hammer. The electrostatic force, there is a right answer. Option C is correct here. Let's see other question here. Next question on your screen. The question here, two boys A and B are applying the force on a block. Two boy a and B are applying for the force on the block if the block move to about the boy. Get a block moved to about the boy A. Which one of the flowing statement is correct here? 
which is one of the following statement is correct a magnitude of force applied by b is greater than that of the b b magnitudes of force applied by the a is smaller than to the b and c here net force on the block is a to about to b and d magnitude of force applied by a is a equal to that of b that's important option but uh, first of all you choose the answer for the four option okay and write your notebook firstly you know that you have a write the answer for this question let's see what is the answer for this question here question is clear here two boy a and b are applying the force on the block two boy if the block move to what to the boy a which one of the following statement is correct here magnitude force applied by a is greater than to the b a is greater than b the boy is a block a move to the two about the boy that's the option is wrong that's option is wrong totally b magnitude of force applied by the b magnitude force applied by a is smaller than to the b you know that the b option is correct here b option is correct magnitude of force applied by a is smaller than that of b it means to the b options were correct for this question let's see next question here you know that next questions on your screen question here when the two force act in opposite direction their net force acting in their a sum of the two force b difference between the two force c both of these and d none of these question is clear when the two force act in a opposite direction then net force action is there you know that you write the correct answer of your notebook that's important you have write the notebook or write answer let's see what is the answer for this question question is clear here when the two force act in the opposite direction then net force acting in there a sum of the two force sum of the two force is the not a correct answer here b <laughs> different between the two force you know that different between two force that's the correct answer here because the two force act in opposite direction there mean different between the two force different between two force option is b is correct option b is correct difference between two force let's see next question here next question on your screen question here the strength of force is expressed by 8 the strength of force is expressed by 8 a weight b mass c magnitude d longitudinal force that's important question here but first of all you give the answer for questions okay and write the correct answer for your notebook you have a write down to notebook the correct answer let's see what is the answer for this question here question is clear the strength of force is expressed by 8 that is the correct here but option here weight weight is nothing strength of force expressed by it see there is a weight is a wrong here weight weight is wrong b mass b mass there is a strength of force expressed nothing here the marks is also is a wrong option c magnitude you know that strength of force expressed by the magnitude that's the right answer it mean to the option c is correct option c is correct magnitude the magnitude is a correct answer for this question let's see next question here next question on your screen and question here on example of a non contact force is the example of non contact force is a force extended by us to be left a blocked 
ब्लकेट बी पुश अ स्टेनरी कार सी फोर्स एक्सटेंडली बाय मैग्नेट डी हिट अ क्रिकेट बॉल फॉर अ सिक्स रन यू नो दैट इज क्वेश्चन इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट नॉन कॉन्टेक्ट फोर्स द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नॉन कॉन्टेक्ट फोर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू चूज द आंसर फॉर द कोरेक्स हेयर एंड राइट योर नोटबुक फर्स्टली यू नो दैट यू हैव अ राइट डाउन टू द राइट आंसर फॉर द नोटबुक Let's see what is the answer for this question. Question is clear here. On example of non-contact force, it means to the without contact force. Without contact force, force is done by to be fit the block bucket. It means to the is a contact force here. It is a contact force. A is contact force. It is a not contact force. Nothing here. It means to the A option is wrong. B push a stationary car. Stationary car push. It means to the your contact force. It means to the B option is wrong. B option is a false. Okay. C force extremely by magnet. Magnet. There is a right answer because magnet is a non-contact force here. Magnet is a non-contact force. There is a magnetic force applied here. It means to the C option is correct. C op option is correct. Force extracted by magnet. C option is correct. This topic was till this. We will be do there are next topic in the next part. If you like it, then please like, share, subscribe, and share the video as a much as a possible. Do not think subscribe and save in your mobile. Thank you.